now that our student knows how to count into the at least all the way from one to 100 okay hopefully into the hundreds thousands hundreds of thousands or millions depending how fast they've progressed but once a student knows how to count from one to 100 i start introducing them to addition right and in general we do the single digits right so i write down basically two plus three and if the student is having a hard time doing this i get them to do it using their fingers right i say okay hold up two on this one hold up three on this one how many do you have and they go one two three four five right and i do this a few times if they're in that state right once they're past the finger state right once they you know if you're doing four plus three what is that right four plus three right five seven as long as they can do it all in all the single digits without their fingers we can move on into the double digits right and the double digits is usually where it's harder to do with the fingers that's why i introduce you know i get them to do ticks on paper so once they hit this stage what i give them is eight plus nine numbers that when added up kick them into the double digits right if they can do it with their fingers right if i you know tell them okay use your fingers so they go one two three four five six seven eight right or they start off with eight that's in general what i do but if they're at a state where they're still using their fingers they go eight and they gotta add nine they gotta go one two they have to keep in mind that's 10 three four five six seven eight so they have a 10 plus oh nine <laughs> right plus nine so that's 17. they keep that in mind kids usually have a harder time with that or i get them to start off with eight so i say okay you're at eight already add nine right so they go i'm at eight so i go 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 right that's their nine being added so that's two ways you can do it the third way i do it is i get them to do ticks on a piece of paper right so if we go seven plus eight right they can start off at seven and then they go eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen that's eight numbers those are the ticks that we talked about in counting that you can get them to group fives right so this becomes 15 or some students that i've seen they do the whole thing right they go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven uh where are we one two three four five six seven right and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen right and when they do this most of my students don't stick doing this for too long right because they realize that it's too hard visually to see what's happening and really emphasize the visual when you're teaching counting as well to your students right now we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen right if your student does this show them how it's easier to do if they do one two three four five six seven that's their seven right and then one two three four five oops five six seven eight and then get them to count that way right so what you're doing is i should do that more clearly right so let's do it more clearly one two three four five six seven eight right so we have five and five that's ten two and three that's 15 so the answer is 15. okay it's again very personal very tricky depending on the students i'm even making mistakes using ticks right so your student is going to make mistakes doing using these tick marks 
just tell them to cross it out do it again if they're having a hard time with it okay so when you're teaching adding what personally when I'm teaching adding and it might work with you as well if you're teaching your student right start off with single digits don't get them to go past the single digits yet so you're doing the small single digits when you get into the bigger single digits right get them to use their fingers get them to start off with the first number and add the next number or get them to use tick marks okay once they're comfortable with this start adding the teens in there right start off with the teen right 13 and then add six okay in general the easiest way to do this is is the method where you say okay you're already at 13 add six right so they go okay 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and they write down 19. it's rare for my students that i've worked with for them to use tick marks when they're doing double digits starting with double digits and continuing on right in general that's the way they end up counting okay once you've hit this stage show them two double digits added together 13 plus 17 okay now make sure you have enough time in your lesson or in your day and your student is functional enough to be able to do this right because you need time to explain what the process is here okay and actually i don't usually do carryovers yet right so i'm doing the low teens first okay and i'll explain to you why i don't do that yet right so when a student is trying to do this doing it with the fingers is harder it takes them a while they will try they might do it with tick marks but it's rare right once they struggle with it for a bit and some students will be able to get the answer quickly some won't if they get the answer quickly give them harder ones go into the 20s go into the 30s go into the 40s right if they're having a hard time with it basically show them the addition the stacking method right so i basically show them you know i tell them instead of writing it like this visually it's easier to write them on top of each other so we basically go 13 plus 12 and you draw a line right so that's what i end up showing them and then i tell them all they need to do is add these two guys together put the number there and add those two guys together put the number there and that's the reason i don't start off with anything that you need to when they're added they give you a 10 or more where you have to carry it over right so in general when you reach this state they already know how to do these right so this becomes easy this becomes five and then one plus one is two right and we have videos out uh, i put some videos out um, for the language of mathematics for this on how to add numbers together larger numbers in general i didn't kick it down to this level right i usually start off with bigger numbers okay but we got a whole bunch of videos in the language of mathematics showing this or at least one video showing this right so once they figure this out and they should fairly rapidly i give them numbers that you have to carry stuff over right 27 plus 34 right and in general whenever i'm doing this at the beginning i write them stacked like this for them to practice later on what i do is i put them in a line like this and get them to stack it because some students need to need uh have a hard time appreciating right off the bat that you're flushing things to the right okay once you get them to do this then seven plus four get them to write the answer right so seven plus four is eleven and students usually in general pause a little bit in this process they go 11 they really don't know what to do until you show them how to do it don't let them struggle with it show them right off the bat 
you go, okay, 7 plus 4 is 11. So you put your 1 here, but you can't put the other 1 here because that's in the tens. So what you do, you put it up top, right? 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6, okay? So the answer is 61. Student will appreciate this. Give them a whole bunch of practice. Work with them. Show them more examples, right? 56 plus 79. Okay. Once you show a few different examples for them to do and you get them to do it, make sure you stay below 100. And then you could kick it up to numbers that add up to be above 100. And again, this process here, I'm going through it fairly rapidly, right? This process here might take a day, might take a week, might take a couple of weeks, okay? Depending on how fast the student is absorbing the information and how many lessons you've had and how many practice problems they've done, okay? But once they're comfortable sticking within the two-digit range, being able to kick the numbers up, then you can kick them into numbers that add up to more than 100, right? Nine plus six is 15, and you bring the one up, right five plus one or one plus five is six six plus seven is 13 and you can put 13 down here okay from here what i end up doing is giving them gigantic numbers okay i don't go up slow from here right so from here Let's take this down. Let's do some numbers. And I'm going to give you some of the patterns that I show them how to do, right? And one of the things, before we move on, one of the things I also do when we're doing this, your student has to read every number that you're adding and the result, right? So get them to say 13 plus 12 is equal to 25. 56 plus 79 is equal to 135. That helps them not forget how to count numbers, not forget how to read numbers, right? And gets it into their muscle memory, mental memory, okay? Now, once my students in general learn how to add two, two digit numbers together, I start giving them numbers in the hundreds and then right away kick, kick them into numbers that are into the tens of tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands, right? As long as they know how to count to those numbers, right? So, for example, I would give them something like this. Okay. And what I end up doing is, when we reach this state, I don't stack it for them. I get them to restack this, put it in the proper position so they can add it, right? So they take this and they go, oh, Two five seven plus six seven four, right? And the process again, it's quite easy. Seven plus four is eleven. You put the one in the bottom, and the one up top. Five plus one is six. Plus seven is thirteen. You put the three here. You put the one up top. One plus two is three. Plus six is nine, right? And the student has to read this number as well, okay? And then I give them numbers that don't have the same number of digits in them, right? Seven, four, seven, five, plus six, four, let's go five, okay? Now, one thing I've noticed when students are learning how to add, okay? When you need to stack these things, they end up stacking them here. They go, they write it like this. I'm gonna write it incorrectly first, right? They go seven, four, seven, five, six, four, five, right? Sometimes they do it that way. Sometimes they're all over the place. In general, they're all over the place. They would go something like this, seven, four, seven, five, and then six, four, five, right? So visually, it's hard for them to line things up, right? It is extremely important to correct them when they're doing this. Make sure they're flushing everything to the right side, right? So six, four, five. 
the whole purpose here for us is to take stress away from the student learning this and doing this because this can be a little bit repetitive for the student right because you have to get them to do a few of these before they're very comfortable with it right so really important to help them in that process by getting them to line things up properly right and in general when they're initially they write both numbers but students usually catch on pretty fast that all they have to do is just take that number put it below this guy if they haven't saved them time tell them that hey you could take this number and put it here right and put the addition here you don't have to rewrite it right and then you add this 5 plus 5 is 10 you put the 0 you put the 1 8 12 1 10 11 1 and you get an 8 right and get them to read this number if they're having a hard time reading it tell them to put the comma in there right okay once you give them a few of these things where they're adding double digit numbers three digit numbers two three digit numbers two four digit numbers a four digit number and a three digit number give them numbers that are larger and vary in the number of digits that they have right for example seven five six four three two plus five six four three plus five zero zero one right get them to do numbers like this get them to read it right when you write it down before they begin you say okay read this number in general they need to put a comma 756,432 get them to move their fingers across if they need to put your comma right 75,643 and 5,001 in general students don't have a hard time with four digits okay get them to add these by stacking them usually my students write this number here because they're not comfortable at the beginning to realize that this is five digits so they can just go to the five digits here and stack them right so this is usually what they end up doing three four six comma five seven okay and one zero zero five Two plus three is five, plus one is six. Three plus four is seven, plus zero is seven. And a lot of students actually say that, right? Seven, let them say it. Okay, six plus, four plus six is 10. You put the zero, you put the one up top. Get them to say it, put the one up top, put the two up top if there's a two, right? three five six whatever it is one plus six is seven five plus five is ten so that's 17. once you start doing this the students will do this one plus six is seven seven plus five is twelve twelve plus five is fifteen that's what they'll do they'll go in order let them do that slowly teach them the grouping right that they can go five plus five is ten six plus what one plus six is seven ten plus seven is seventeen right move the one up one plus five is six six plus seven is thirteen put the one up one plus seven is eight get them to read this number if they need to and the odds are they will they need to put the comma in 837,076 okay now once you've reached the state where you're giving them random numbers and it doesn't have to be just two numbers or three numbers give them four or five numbers to stack right they don't necessarily need to be this big but give it to them anyway right because that way when they do one problem you've tested them the equivalent of five of the smaller problems right so they're getting a lot more practice in without even in general realizing it okay so give them like two or three large numbers 
three numbers, four numbers, or five numbers. Get them to line it up properly. Get them to read every single number and the result and put the commas in the appropriate places. Once they're able to do that, give them numbers that force them to quickly distinguish between one number and the other number. And we showed this, this set of three numbers in uh, the counting section, right? Where we went, get them to add 720 plus, what was it, 702 plus 712, right? Get them to add those numbers. Okay. Once you reach this level, and they're reading it properly, they're adding it properly, and they're reading the result properly, putting the commas in the right places, we're going into multiplication, okay? Once you reach this level, we can start teaching them planting seeds for them to learn multiplication. So let me show you how that works.